Hello, girls. Good morning. I think it's time for another lesson. Um, we can't let it wait for too long. Okay, we can't have a break for too long. Otherwise, we cannot finish the syllabus. Okay, don't worry, girls. These um, few uh, subtopics are actually quite easy because you learn it more or less in Form 3. So just a little bit of detail that we add in. Okay, now 8.2. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the mechanisms of breathing, or we call breathing mechanisms. So if you look at this word, okay, whenever you see this word, it actually means uh, the inhalation and the exhalation process. So that's all you talk about. Okay? Whenever you see this question, they ask you to describe the breathing mechanism. The only thing that you need to talk about is how inhalation happens and how exhalation happens. That's all. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, let's go to insects first. I'll do just one lesson on insects for today. Okay, now... In order to inhale, right? Okay, now first of all, the first look at this uh, on the left hand side. Now, what is the muscle? What is the organ which helps to draw in air? Actually, it is the abdominal muscles in the inside. It's just similar to what we have. Uh, we also have muscles in our lungs, or not in our lungs, in our thoracic cavity, and they are the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm. Okay, we learned it last year. So these are the two uh, organs which actually help to draw in the air into the lung. So in insects, we also have, they also have muscles. So we call them abdominal muscles. They are not in the thorax, but they're actually in the abdomen. So they call abdominal muscles. So what they do is actually these muscles can only do two things. It's either relax or contract. Okay, so when it relax, it actually, uh, when it relaxes, it doesn't pull. So the muscles become longer and actually the space or the cavity becomes larger. Okay, and when they contract, they actually squeeze. So when they squeeze, then the cavity, the whole cavity of the body becomes a little bit smaller. So the volume de reduces. Okay, so this is what actually happens in order for the air to move in and to move out. Okay, it actually helps to ventilate or move in the air and out of the body. Okay, let's talk about inhalation. Okay, in order to inhale, all right, you need to know that actually the air pressure inside the body must be lower than outside. You've learned it in uh, Form 3, our body, when we talk about our lungs, when during inhalation, the diaphragm, uh, contracts and then it moves down, right? It flattens and then the intercostal muscles will contract and actually it uh, it causes the cavity, the thoracic cavity to become larger. Okay, so for the inside, during inhalation, right, the abdominal muscles will relax. So when that relaxes, actually the cavity or the space inside the body actually becomes bigger. So that means it actually increases the volume inside the body and that actually reduces the pressure okay this relationship you have learned in form 2 and we talk about uh, volume right volume and air pressure so when volume increases pressure reduces so that means now inside the body cavity there is a lower pressure lp means low pressure and that will cause that will mean that this higher comparatively the pressure will be higher outside the body Okay, so 如果里面低的 pressure, that means outside is higher pressure. So that what happens is air will automatically move into the body and it moves in through the spiracles. Spiracles are the holes or the pores at the side of the body. Okay, let's talk about uh, the uh, exhalation process. When during exhalation process, the whole thing is reversed. Okay, now just now the abdominal muscles uh, relaxes or relax. Now it will contract. Okay, when it contracts, it actually squeezes. Uh, it squeezes and pushes so the cavity becomes a little bit smaller so the volume reduces right and when the volume reduces then the air pressure will increase okay the air pressure in the body cavity or inside the body here so this will increase the air pressure and as a result so now the air pressure is a little bit higher than outside so it's higher pressure inside so comparatively it will be lower pressure outside so automatically the air will be forced out of the body through the spiracles okay so this is very simple now i would like you to go through this please take your qr code scanner and please scan this it's a good video to explain the breathing mechanism of insects please uh, have a look at it.